Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite profession in Brighter Shores. It's going to definitely be the detective profession. So if you take a look here, you can see in the Chronopolis, you have four professions. You have obviously the combat, which is Watchman. You have the detective, which is one we're going to talk about. You have leather worker, and then of course you have the merchant. So what makes detective so special and why is it my favorite? That is definitely a good question. This one, in my opinion, is a very, very strong profession that people don't really realize. So the first First thing I'm going to say is there's a bunch of different ways to actually level it. If you can see here in the top left or top right, you can see the actual equipment. So you have the handcuffs that you start with, the magnifying glass, but I actually ignore all of these options once I get to level four and that's the crime den raids. I really, really love these. So you get those at level four, level eight, and then the next one is at level 18. From level 18, you do go on a dry streak though, all the way up until um, by the way, you do get a spell at level 46 called Detect Aura, so that's pretty cool. But you do go dry up until level 51 for the raids. So that is going to be a grind, of course, without doing you know raids probably from about 40 to 51. But we do have these Crime Den raids, and I want to talk about how special these are. First off, you guys should know where this is at on the map. This is going to be the detective zone in the... Uh, episode four. It's going to be right here. You're going to come here. You're going to go to the desk sergeant. You're going to trade the desk sergeant. You're going to buy both of the handcuffs and the magnifying glass if you are the level for it. Um, and then we are going to run out of here and show you exactly why I love this profession so much. So the first thing I should say is they give you shortcuts. So if we actually look at the map, we zoom out a little bit. You can see that it is really hard and you might not have this unlocked yet to get from certain places to other places on episode four's map or Chronopolis in general because they are actually going to be burglars dens. So these open up shortcuts when you complete them. So if you look here, we have the counterfeiters den. So from the merchant guild, I can run straight up here to uh, this Peacock Road north and I can actually get to Peacock Road Central very quickly because I have the Counterfeiters Den level 8 already completed. I have the level 18 already completed. So it's basically like I said, it's like unlocking shortcuts in the map and it's very, very useful. Um, but that's one of the many, many reasons I love doing the raids. Uh, I want to go to the raid here, this level 18 one, um, which by the way, another reason it's right by a portal stone. So Chronopolis Market Portal Stone is right here. You run right to the Burglar's Den and you can start right away. Again, I like doing semi-AFK activities while I'm editing videos or doing other things. And it's really nice that these dens are fairly AFK. So if we actually run into one real quick to just kind of showcase this, let's break open a den raid. Bop, boop, we are in and we have some burglars to kill. So I like to run right into the middle of the room and that should give me about four kills of enemies while I can just continue to edit or do whatever I'm doing. Um, and I'm sure you guys like to have some AFK skills as well. So the detective doesn't just level up detective, we will actually level up our combat in this zone as well. So you're getting a two for one there and it's actually a three for one because when I get this knowledge up, which by the way, you get 3% per kill, Think how many of them are in this area. And then you're actually getting, you know, like I said, 3% per knowledge point. And then when you actually complete the raid, we'll showcase how much you get there. I don't even know if you do or not, but either way, you are getting three skills up at a time. And uh, I actually level up my watchman, my detective. And because I want to complete the spider's nest um, to kind of prepare for the main story quest, um, where you have to complete the spider's nest, I will actually be leveling up my wood cutting and my carpentry with my knowledge points. So I'm leveling, like I said, three skills up here at a time, and it's very, very fast. Uh, you may not get a ton of loot, to be honest. It's not the most lucrative when it comes to rewards, but you are leveling, like I said, three professions at once, and, that once, and that's enough for me. So I want to showcase what the end of the raid really does and how this kind of works as a shortcut for you guys real quick. So we have one more guy to kill after this. You'll see the XP drop. Um, they always have stashes, but they seem to not really drop the greatest of loot. That is the only unfortunate part. And I'm thinking that could potentially change, though, later on when we get to higher level raids. Of course, right now we're only doing level 18 raids. They don't want to give you too much loot from a level 18 raid, I'm sure, because these can be uh, smacked around pretty quickly. The one thing nice about this I noticed as well is these burglars are always pretty easy to kill. There's no you know chance of death at the 43 combat that I'm at. Obviously, this is level 18, but it's nice to kind of feel your power for once as everything else kind of levels with you. So Crime Den Raid complete. We're at 98% to the next knowledge point, which is really, really fast showcasing 
how fast it actually levels up your knowledge points doing these raids. So let's go search the trunk. Usually only gives us 100 copper. Really not worth even searching, to be honest. But there has been times where I've gotten um, an item or even, you know, 600 copper. So it's not the worst. But I'm actually not going to break the next raid in. I'm going to actually showcase, uh, again, if you go to the Chronopolis Marcus Stone now, I can actually run through the market chambers and run straight south and get to the tannery very, very quickly. Before, I would have had to go to this market portal stone. I would have had to run all the way through here, go around all the way down here and get to the tannery that way. So this opens up a very, very fast way of actually getting to places. Um, and imagine later in the game, there's even better spots that uh, open and unlock. I have been looking around the map, kind of looking at them. So like here... You can tell that this is going to be a raid. This is a raid over here. Um, so you can actually run from the Lord's Road East straight south into the lane east. It's going to be very, very useful to get around Chronopolis late game. And I'm so excited for some of these to be open and unlocked. So that's just kind of my take on the skill. Again, you get to level up three professions at once. You don't get a ton of loot. No, not too many rewards, unfortunately. But you are getting um, so many knowledge points percentages and uh like i said three professions at once and shortcuts is enough for me to love this profession i also think it's pretty unique you know being able to kind of semi afk it uh but you can just break in these and you just run straight in here and you'll have attacks for you know probably three minutes here where you can just afk so again it's just a huge huge bonus to me to have a semi afk skill in a game that's very very active a lot of skilling in this game is very active so i think this is going to be one that i take watchman and detective up to potentially 100 200 300 we'll see how the shortcuts lay out but thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i'll see you all in the next one